Welcome to the PH4410 review on random matrix theory. This, uh, the random matrix theory that we will talk about in this review, of course, uh, relates to econo physics, uh, not to the original random matrix theory that was developed for nuclear physics. Now, suppose we have a time series cross section, which, will, which we will write as x capital X vector equals to x1 comma 1 x2 comma 1 dot 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 until we get to x n comma 1 and then x2 comma 1 x2 comma 2 till we get to x n comma 2 and then finally we get to x this is 1 comma 2 and this is t uh, one comma t, and this is x two comma t, and then finally x n comma t. So suppose we have this particular time series cross section, where the oh we have to wait for the. Okay, it's now ready. So we have a total of n variables and t samples. t samples of the n variables and the quality factor, of the quality of the statistics is given by t divided by n and that tells you how uh, many more samples of the n variables that you have in order to estimate the correlation matrix and let us simply let us suppose that um, let us further assume that the the uh, the these time series the elements of this time series cross section are sampled from the same normal distribution um, so x i t is sampled from the same normal distribution with zero mean but uh, and variance sigma square. Okay. Now, uh, clearly, in the limit, in the limit of t goes to infinity, the cross correlation between x i and x j is equals to zero. But for any finite number of samples. But for any finite number of samples x i, x j, the expectation is not zero, uh, and therefore our cross correlation matrix is not simply the identity matrix. Okay, and a cross correlation matrix C computed from such a random time series cross section. X is called a Wishart matrix. So this is the family of random cross correlation matrices. Okay, we want to un underline Wishart matrix because it's an important term. Now, the 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 because C is not identically the uh, not identically equals the identical uh, the identity matrix, uh, and has lots of uh, non-zero uh, matrix elements. It is sometimes not easy to tell that uh, C is actually. Uh, calculated from a random time series cross section as opposed to from uh, to be one calculated from the real world matrix. Uh, if of course if C is calculated from a totally random time series cross section, then C will contain no information, only noise, and this can be seen. This can this can be seen from its this can be uh, seen from its eigenvalue distribution. So if I Compute the eigenvalues. Let's say that you know the eigenvalue lambda 
uh, is an eigenvalue of C. Eigenvalue of C, then statistically speaking, uh, lambda is distributed according to a uh, distribution function, and this distribution function is given as p lambda equals to q over 2 pi square root of lambda plus minus lambda lambda minus lambda minus divided by lambda where lambda plus minus is equals to 1 plus 1 over q plus uh, plus minus 2 over square root q uh, and this particular uh, eigenvalue distribution is called the pastor machenko distribution and this is the by the most important result that emerged from the random matrix theory of Wishart matrices or cor random correlation matrices. And the, the key thing that you need to understand from this, okay, let's clear this. Okay, is how to compute lambda plus minus. So let me uh, write that down here again. So write down the uh, pastor machenko distribution, which is Q over 2 pi square root of lambda plus minus lambda, lambda minus lambda. Okay, now this is a problem. I need to erase it and then get it back to this and get rid of this and lambda minus lambda minus and then divided by lambda where lambda plus minus is 1 plus 1 over q plus minus 2 over square root q okay now the, the it is important to understand from this random matrix theory uh, how to sketch this probability distribution and it looks like this let's put mark down lambda minus and lambda plus and your distribution goes like this normally okay then there's no bump here it's, it's smooth uh, and the so the actual distribution itself the shape the actual shape depends on Q. Okay, but we know for sure that anything that is larger, any eigenvalue that is larger than lambda plus uh, represents signal, so not noise. Anything that is smaller than lambda minus also represents a signal, so not noise. And anything that is in, in between lambda minus and lambda plus. Uh, is most likely simply just noise. Okay, so this is the most important message, uh, under, uh, the insight that we want to uh, gain from studying the random matrix theory of Wishart matrices.